Well, bless the Lord, family of God. I greet you all in the wonderful and in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, we're excited for what the Lord wants to say to us in this lesson tonight, and we are in great anticipation to receive from the Lord. So, I'm just going to wait for people to come on and we will begin the lesson praise the Lord Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Good evening, family of God. Good evening. God bless you. God bless you all. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. Amen. As I just wait for people to come on. Amen. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, we're going to begin the lesson. Um, so let's pray. Father, I thank you for your grace. Thank you for your blessing upon this lesson. I ask God that you will open the eyes of our understanding, will be enlightened to this present truth that shall be released through this broadcast. We thank you, Holy Spirit. That we ask for your leading, your guidance, your governance and direction. Thank you, O God, that your people will be ready to receive. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, bless the Lord, family of God. Um, we know that we serve an awesome God and we serve a good God. Um, he's, the, he's faithful. And so it's very really important to understand um, this is with regards to apostolic council. And one of the things that I want to reiterate in this lesson, <clears throat> we see a lot of people operating with power, um, but they're not functioning under authority. Now, it's very important as a leader, it's very important as a leader, that you have to be under authority. Um, power is the ability. Power is the ability to do or act. Ability to do or act, ability to accomplish. That's what power is. And we see today a lot of people are power driven um, but they lack the character of Jesus Christ um, they also not in authority they're not under authority they haven't been sent with authority um, but remember family of God that we must understand authority <clears throat> Authority is the proper positioning to operate in the authority that you're in. And this is why it's important for you and I to understand that you need to be under authority. You need to be in authority. You need to be released with authority. So, 
you got to be under authority. Even if you are gifted, you are anointed, <clears throat> you have your certificates from you studying in Bible school, for example. But the important thing is principle. God's word. Amen. The principles of God's word is that you have to be under authority. Now, that's very, very important, um, people of God. Now, you've got to be under authority even though you are anointed to do that. Now, a lot of times people feel, okay, I'm anointed to do that. I don't need to be under authority. You have to. You have to. Okay, even though you are anointed to do that, you have to be under authority, okay? This is very important. Now, when you are not under authority and you're functioning in your gifts and your titles and your anointing, then you are actually operating out of order. Now, it's very important to understand this, that we are all accountable to God first. That's very important. But we also have to be accountable to someone in the earth that we have to pray about. Seek the Lord. Seek the counsel of God. Okay? Because that person becomes your grace carrier. Amen? Oh, you understand? Praise the Lord. Um, and it's very important that you have to walk in honor to whom you are accountable to. Um, honor is very important. A lot of times people can um, have respect for the leader, but it does not mean that they honor the leader. Okay? Honor is higher than respect. When you walk in honor to God first, that's always important. You're accountable to God first. You in submission to the authority to God first. Very important. But we have to still operate in the earth in God's divine order. There is protocol in the kingdom of God. Okay? So what will honor do for you? Honor will give you um, access access to the anointing, the grace on that person's life. Um, it will also give you access to receive impartation, revelation to what that person might be teaching or ministering, imparting into you, okay, imparting gifts into you, stirring up the gifts within you. Okay, so honor will give you access and access will give you success. Very important, very important. Honor gives you access and access gives you success. Okay, that's very important. Now, a good leader learns how to be a good follower. And we can look at the life of Jesus. He is our perfect example. Jesus was accountable to the Father. So we have to look at Jesus being our example. All right. First Peter 2 verse 21. Jesus is our Example. Praise the Lord. Okay. And remember according to Romans 8 verse 29. That we are purposed by God. To become more like his son Jesus Christ. Romans 8 verse 29. So we have to become more like Jesus. Because Jesus is the pattern. Are you understanding this? Jesus is the pattern. If you cannot follow instructions, then you don't give instructions. This is very important. 
Now, if you as a leader want people to be accountable to you whom God brings into your life, you as a leader also have to be accountable to someone in the earth. Remember this. We are all accountable to God first. Okay. Praise the Lord. If you cannot submit to authority, then you don't be in authority. No matter how gifted you are, no matter how anointed you are, no matter what title you have, no matter what certificates you have, if you cannot submit to authority, God's authority first, authority in the earth, praise the Lord, then you don't be in authority. That's very important. It's for example, if you are living in disobedience, you can't go and tell somebody else to walk in obedience if you are operating or living in disobedience. Okay. If you can't submit to authority, then you don't be authority. Because in order for you to be authority, you must first be submitted to authority. And I know a lot of people fight that. They fight that. They fight that. Some of them were just stubborn. Some of them have not been taught. Um, that's why the scripture says, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. So it's important that we have to teach family of God. Teach kingdom principles. Amen. And so, if you are not submitted to authority, then you cannot be in authority. Now, it's important to understand this family of God. Let's look at the life of Jesus. Jesus was, 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 was. When Jesus came into the earth, Jesus came looking for authority. Jesus had power, but no authority. So when Jesus came into the earth, he came looking for authority. Okay, this is very important. And Jesus came to who? He came to the prophet John. The prophet John was in authority. Watch this. He came to the prophet John. Jesus had power, but was not given authority as yet. Okay, so Jesus comes to the prophet John. And when Jesus submitted to the authority in the earth of the prophet John at the Jordan River and we see in scripture the word of God says and then the heavens opened and then the heavens opened and declared this is my beloved son wow when Jesus submitted to authority in the earth and when he submitted to authority in the earth the Bible says and then the heavens opened and declared that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased with listen to me people of God Power always submit to authority. Power always submits to authority. Jesus had power. He recognized authority. He acknowledged authority. And he submitted to authority. Hmm. Family of God, there is, there is an anointing that awaits for submission to authority. There is an anointing that waits for submission to authority. When you submit to the authority, 
that God has placed in your life and you walk in honor, you receive access to the anointing, to the grace. The scripture says that the gift will make room for you. The gift is the person, not the title, the person. When you honor the gift, praise the Lord, it will give you access and access will give you success in life. And we can see many examples of people in the Bible. Praise God. We can see that with Elisha and Elijah, Timothy and Paul, and many, many other people in the word of God, Jesus being in total submission to the authority of his father. Okay, when you submit to authority, it is important to understand this here. Authority will announce you, authority will announce who you are. Not you announcing yourself. And today we see a lot of people announcing themselves. You cannot announce yourself. Authority will announce who you are. Okay, and we can take the story from Galatians chapter 4. You can read from verse 1 to 4. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how the father hires a pedagogue, pedagogue for his son. Um, his son is the rightful heir owner to the family name of the business. Um, but the father hires a pedagogue, um, someone to come in and to teach him about the family name of the business. Watch this. And then the story goes on. Um, basically, when the father sees that the son has matured, that he is ready to take on the responsibility. Are you understanding this? The father said to him, now you are ready and now I can adopt you. Wow. So you don't announce yourself. Authority will announce who you are. Okay. Okay. So when the when when he said to the son, you know, now, now I can adopt you, he was simply saying, now you have matured. You can take responsibility to handle the family name of the business. You can carry out your responsibility. Listen to me. You have to be released or sent out with authority. To someone who is in authority, who is under authority. Praise the Lord. So you have to do a background check. <laughs> Are you understanding this? So you have to be in authority. You have to be under authority. You have to be released with authority. You cannot just go out on your own. Are you understanding this people of God? So it's very important to understand You do not announce yourself. Authority will announce who you are, to whom you are accountable to. Whose feet are you sitting at and gleaning from? Whose beard are you sitting at and gleaning from? My apostle would always say this to us um, that, is, that has gone on to be with the Lord, um, Bishop Winnie Hamilton. She would say to us, know who's in your midst. You cannot become familiar with your leader. Are you understanding this? That's a spirit of familiarity and that is not of God. Okay, so. Amen. Thank you, Father. All right. So it's very important that you got to be under authority even though you are anointed to do that. I know you are anointed to do that. I know God has called you. The call comes from God first. But we have to operate under God's 
order, in God's order so that we can function properly. Because it's not about us, it's about us advancing and expanding God's kingdom in the earth. If you are not submitted to authority, then you cannot be in authority. And know this year that hell will bombard you. And know this year, God will not use you when you are out of order. Somebody put that up for me. That is very important. God will not use you when you're out of order. Mm. My, 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 my God. God will not use you when you're out of order. I don't care how anointed you are. I don't care how gifted you are. <laughs> I don't care what title. But if you are out of order, God will not use you. And you open yourself up for hell to bombard your life. That's why it's very important to know what is your job description for the job that God has called you, has assigned to you. This is not a game. We have to be serious about willing to go through the process. There's no quick fix. There's no shortcuts through the process. You have to be willing to go through the process. Okay? So, it's very important that you want to do right by God. And you've got to do it right. You've got to be willing to go through the process. You've got to be willing to humble yourself. You've got to be willing to be a servant. You've got to be willing to sit at someone's feet and someone's beard and glean. And you don't announce yourself. Your authority will announce who you are. Okay, so as I said, it's very important to understand. That authority is the proper positioning for you to operate in the authority that you're in. To the one to whom you're accountable to, very importantly, that person who is in authority, who has been sent with authority, released with authority, will help you to properly position you. Um, in other words, establish you in the truth of God's word, properly uh, foundate you um, so that you don't go out and cause a shipwreck to the body of Christ. That's why you have to be willing to be taught. You have to also become an Advent student of God's word. You have to walk in total submission to God's authority. You have to operate and function in God's order, not out of order. Many people are operating and functioning in man's order and they are totally out of God's order. And God is not pleased with that and you will not get your reward from God even though you get praises from people. Okay. You got to come to this place, family of God, is that you want to be true to God. Don't look for the praises from people. Don't look for the pat on your back from people or the, the hand claps from people. You got to constantly, God, I want to be in your world. God, I want to do what you want me to do. God, I want to say what you want me to say. God, I don't want to do anything that you did not ask me to do. Are you understanding this, people of God? Because you want to please God. Are you understanding this? God bless you, Apostle Janice. Good to have you, my dear sister from USA. Amen. Bless the Lord. Divine divine destiny. Uh, Christian fellowship. Amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Love you much. Amen. And it's very important, people of God. Thank you. Many need to hear this message. Thank you. Praise God. And so this is very important, people of God, that we have to be building according to God's pattern. 
you, you, you've got to come to this place. And I say this to God. God, I don't want to make you ashamed. I don't want to make you ashamed. I, you know, personally for myself, I even tell people when I cut covenant with them, I'm, 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 not, I'm not looking at it from a perspective of, okay, I have another ministry uh, 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 affiliated to me or I have another uh, man or woman of God accountable to me. I, I'm not looking for the numbers. Uh -uh. I want what God wants for me. I want who God wants uh, in my life to be in my life and whom God wants me to be in their life. I want that. I want what God wants basically. But I always tell people, it's not about the numbers. It's about me understanding the responsibility. Do you understand? It's a responsibility. My God, it's a responsibility. You know, there's things that you go through. There's things that you endure as a leader, as an apostle. There's things that you endure. There's things that you go through as a prophet as well. There's things that you go through. When you are raising up sons and daughters and you find that, that you can you will face even betrayal. You will you will even have a you will even you will even have a Judas in your midst. Yeah, that's true. You will have a Judas in your midst. But thank God for your Judas. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. Thank God for your Judas because it's uh, he he's there uh, uh, um, to stretch you. To stretch you, you know. Some people will come in your life, and and I, I love what my apostle would say, a chief apostle, Doctor Winnie Hamilton. She said to me some time ago. She said, "The Lord will bring people in your life um, as sandpaper to actually sandpaper you down." And I, I didn't really understand it at that time, but when I began to go through the process, I began to understand how true. That was how some people come as sandpaper in your life to sandpaper you down, your character. <laughs> I'm being real with you tonight, people of God. There's some things that we need to get rid of. There's some things that we need to work on. We all have areas to work on. Nobody can say they, they've arrived, they've, they, 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 they've made it. No. No, we are, we, 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 we all, we all pursuing to be perfected and matured in Christ for the work of the ministry. So the question I ask you, who is cultivating you? Okay, who is cultivating you? So there's a process. Are you understanding? There's a process that you have to go through. There's a price to pay. Yo, there's a price to pay. And today people don't want to pay the price. Today even uh, uh, some leaders are injured. They're bleeding. They're dealing with trauma. They're dealing with unresolved issues. And yet they're standing in power because they're gifted, they're anointed, they have the title and all these things. And yet they are damaged. Yet they are hurting. Yet they are bleeding. Yet they are broken. They got nobody to talk to. They got nobody to reach out for counsel or prayer. And we know that we can always go to God. But you must be amongst a company of people. You must be uh, 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 under covering as well. That you know that you are able to be transparent. Where you will receive correction in love as well. But will also strengthen you and build you up and mature you. Not judge you. Not ridicule you. Not, not bring you down but help you to become the best version of yourself. Um, help you to become better, a better person. Help you to do better. Praise the Lord. Help you to do better and help you to be better mentally, 
emotionally, physically, spiritually, psychologically, financially as well. Okay, praise the Lord by helping you to give you godly wisdom that will help you in your everyday life, how to manage your life, how to manage your finances, how to bring balance into your life. And a lot of times leaders fail to implement balance. Balance is very important in your life. You cannot let allow, <clears throat> allow ministry to evolve around your life and you don't have me time. You don't have family time. Okay. Your first ministry is to your family. Remember that. Okay. So, apostles are spiritual fathers. <clears throat> and now, we must understand fathers take time to mature you. So don't just call anyone your spiritual father. <laughs> a spiritual father takes time to mature you. A spiritual father uh, 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 <clears throat> spends quality time with you, helps you, holds your hand, walks you through the process, walks you from being a technon to, to, to mature into your sonship, maturity. Is someone that will introduce you into the in-depthness of God's word. Someone that will teach you how to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. How to be led and governed by the Holy Spirit. How to teach by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Because this takes discipline and time. A true display of fatherhood in the life of an apostle will teach them how to be accountable because remember Jesus was accountable to God the Father and it's very also important to make sure that they have understanding of their salvation we have to be focused on that as well okay so very important family of God you got to know who's in your midst. You got to know who's in your life. You got to pray about whom. Um, you got to seek accountability from. Um, very importantly, um, also whom, um, um, whom God wants you to lead, to lay hands on, to set into offices as well. Um, pray, pray, pray. Seek the Lord. Don't be too quick to lay hands on people. And even when you seek accountability. Um, or a covering. You must walk in covenant. Covenant um, is not a contract. Covenant is not a contract. Okay. Praise the Lord. Covenant is not a contract. Alright. So we must understand that people of God. So family there is an anointing that awaits you for submission to authority when you submit to authority authority will announce you and you will not announce yourself and know family of God that God is well pleased with you when you follow kingdom directives and not denomination I'm here to encourage you to teach kingdom teach kingdom Think kingdom, speak kingdom, live kingdom lives. Operate and function in God's order in your life, in the ministry, the call, the grace of God upon your life, in building covenant relationships, kingdom relationships, seeking accountability, apostolic covering, apostolic oversight. It's very important. Family of God, if you're not acting like Jesus, then who are you acting like? Then you're not acting like a Christian because if you call yourself a Christian, that means that you ought to be like Christ. The reason why the Romans called 
them Christians because they saw them behaving or acting just like Christ. So it's, it's very important, family of God, that we are all under construction. We are God's building, according to 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We are God's building. Um, so therefore, we are under construction. Okay? We are under construction. But you have to be careful who is building you. You have to be careful who is constructing you. Apostles are spiritual architects. They are master builders. So you got to be very careful. Who are you allowing to build you up in your most holy faith? And who is constructing you? So, family of God, let us build according to the pattern of heaven. Paul warns us in 1 Corinthians 3. He warns us, he says, be careful how you build upon the foundation that has already been laid. It's a warning, family of God. We should be building according to the pattern of heaven. That's it. Operating and functioning in God's order and not out of order. So, you cannot be around authority and not change. And I've seen people that come around me, for example, and I've seen them drastically change mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, even financially. I've seen change in the lives of of people that God has brought in my life for accountability. Okay. So everything that we need is in the kingdom of God. You can't be around authority and not change. Because when you're around the authority. Um, you receive impartation. Impartation either by the laying of hands. Impartation by you sitting at the at their feet or beard and you gleaning. That's how you receive impartation. Also when you walk in honor. Okay, Holy Spirit gives the power, but Jesus gives the authority. Holy Spirit gives the power, but Jesus gives the authority. Don't be power driven and you're living and operating out of authority. Again, I'm going to say this, my final point. You need to be released with authority and you need to be under authority from someone who is in authority, who is under authority and who has also been released with authority. Don't follow, don't just run because you see the anointing or you see the title. No. God, whom should I align myself with? People. Are you understanding this? Okay. Who is my grace carrier? Okay. So. If you choose not to be in authority, Walk in authority, live in authority, be in submission to authority, then you cannot be authority. You cannot administer authority. Be very careful of people out there today who are not even walking in authority. They're not even in authority. They're not even being released with authority. They're not even under authority. And they're going forth and they're ordaining people, consecrating people. Whoa. You are out of order. You are out of order. So I pray that you hear the word of the Lord, family of God. That you come into God's divine order and you implement it in your life and in your ministry. Because you want to be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. 
Our family of God, thank you for taking the time to listen. God bless you. Please share this broadcast. Love you all so much. This is Apostle Joseph Osborne. I pray God's blessing upon you, grace upon you, peace upon you. And I love you all so much with the love of the Lord. Good night. Shalom from Durban, South Africa. God bless you.